Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to check out the latest video song from Corpa Clanny, and then, and I believe, I believe because I saw a PR announcement of some sorts, that this is their own very take on Anthrax, Got the Time. So it's not a straight up cover, but it took the original from Anthrax and they did their own Corpa Clanny uh, they thing on it. they deconstructed it and they... And then reconstructed it as a Corpa Clanny song. But the foundation of the track is Got the Time by Anthrax. So. Fuck, I could not be more excited to check out what they've done with this song. Because it's going to be in Finnish. It's a Corpa Clanny song. Like, it how do you take an Finnish. Anthrax song and you make their own... I, I don't know. Well, there's only one way to find out. It's press play and check it out. Are, are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, what, what happened there? All right. This was epic. This was absolutely epic. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, that was that, that, that was, was probably not planned, but they're like fuck it, we got to keep We got to keep it in in anyways. This was beyond my wildest expectations. The whole time I wanted to sing time tick 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 in my head. Tick the time tick tick in my head. And then, one, two, three. Oh, fuck. I love the original, but this is like, this is absolutely incredible. I, I just, I love this cover. Oh, fuck. Not in, like, this guy like I said. so into it. And just the, the whole feel and the, 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 the pace of the track. I was just so into it. Like I said, I love the original. They kept the same, I don't know about the lyrical content, because obviously, I, I, don't, I don't speak yeah. Finnish. I mean, I'm not fluent. Perkele is pretty much... Oh, you know. All, and and Misa Vesa. Let's not forget Misa Vesa. So, I mean, that's pretty much my extent of my finish. Uh, uh, in Kitos. In Kitos. Kitos. So, th that's... Okay, three three things I know. That's it. That's it. So, I, I don't know what the lyrical content... So, I don't know if they kept a lot of the same uh, lyrics of the original. Uh, or if they made it into their own Corpa Clanny, like, lyrical song. But the music... Everything, it, it was just a straight up from the original. Like the, 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 the heavy guitar riff that the original has, this one has, the melody, the, everything. 
you know, like the chorus, you know, there is no waiting for tomorrow. Well, we want oh, time. And then, you know, the whole song, whatever. Just absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Not in my wildest dreams, this was going to turn out as good as it did. I love this cover. This has got to be one of my favorite Anthrax covers now of all time. Yeah. Of all time. Because it's like you're taking the original, but you're making a song that... If there's people out there that have never uh, that have never heard the original from Anthrax, you think this is a Corpus Clanny song? Yeah, you know it, it has all the all the, the fixings, all the makings of a good Corpus Clanny song. Everything, everything. A is fun there. video, the same dude from all the previous videos. I'm happy he was there, you know. This but I'm also th happy because in the videos, I feel like he's been getting a little bit of like bad luck. Bad luck, yeah. But in this video, he was or he was pretty uh, scared of them, and then he ran away. But now. I think they're all friends. They're all friends. I think yeah. they're going into the sound. That was a happy ending right there. Definitely a happy ending. I mean, the guy's definitely had a drinking problem. You can see at the beginning of the video, he has no booze. So he's definitely got a drinking problem. I know uh, I suffer from that same problem. And it's always a serious issue when you open the fridge. And there's no booze. And there's no booze. So I totally feel his pain. Uh, that's, that's the drinking problem. Yeah, but they were coming to him with booze in hand and shit like that. So... The guys from Corp, the they always come prepared. Yeah, the problem is not that you know he keeps drinking. It's the problem is he doesn't have anything to drink. That's why I said he had a drinking problem. Yeah. Like I, I mean, not drinking too much is not a problem. It's not having enough to drink is where the problem is. Yeah. Wh whoever said that drinking too much is a problem? And who defines what too much is? Exactly. Too much for one person is maybe not enough for another. I, for example, have a very high tolerance for alcohol, like really high tolerance for alcohol. Like I can drink a lot. It takes a lot to get I'm me drunk. Certain drinks, come on. What do you mean, certain drinks? In, in Have you ever seen me drunk? Yes. Okay, in Portugal, I drink like what? Like nine, ten caipirinhas in one sitting. And then we come back to do some videos. Okay, but then I walk home? Was I stumbling? <laughs> Barely. The, Barely. Come on. I walked perfectly fine. I didn't run into anybody. I didn't say anything obnoxious to people. I'm actually a pretty happy drunk person. I, I'm, I'm very lively. Well, you're, not, you're not a mad drunk person. That's no, but I was not like, it's not like I was holding on to the walls. You were saying, tipsy. Ah. You were tipsy. You weren't drunk drunk. Tipsy. After 10 kaipiding is... Let, let's, that's enough to kill a person, I think, of alcohol poisoning. That's a lot of alcohol. 10 kaipiding is. And it's not 10 kaipiding is in a span of like 10 but hours. You were, it's 10 kaipiding is in the span of one hour. But you, we were had like, a tip, you were like tipsy on the border of drunk, but we were still able to do those videos. We were still able to Home. And, and walk home. And, yeah. and walk home. Once again, we're not talking about walking from one door to another. We're talking about a walk that takes at least a good 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah. So I walk for 20 minutes after 10 kaipiding is in one hour. walk it off. Fuck, man. And not only that, but then I stop on the way and I had some ginger shots. Exactly. Just to top it off. Just to chase so the it chocolate, down. The chocolate from the cups of the ginger, that's what's the chaser. Come on. I, I feel like I have a very high tolerance for alcohol. Because, you know... I. Being Portuguese and all, and my parent, my, my, well, my mother was not much of a drinker, but my dad did, my grandfather did, so my brother was not much of a drinker, but the, the two older statesmen in the house, not that they were heavy drinkers, but they, dr they drank, they, 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 got they their, knew their ways, they, they knew their ways around the bar, so I, I got introduced to alcohol at a very early age. I think the first time I started drinking, I was maybe like seven or eight, like drinking like um, a niche in, in, in like uh, Porto wine and that kind of shit. So I feel like I've built a, a fucking tolerance of alcohol through the ages. It takes a, a lot. To get you blackout I'll, drunk. Oh, I, I've never been. I've never been. I get to a point when I drink too much and then I just puke and then I'm ready to go drink back at it. I'm ready to go back at it. So I, I, I've never once passed out drunk. Never. It's never happened. Never have I stumbled home. Now, I did come home one time and I pee on the toilet seat because I thought the toilet was lifted and it wasn't. And then my mother called me in the morning and said, dude, you were drunk last night. I was like, no, I wasn't. You pissed all over the toilet seat. Okay, maybe I was. Maybe I was. So I, I, I've done some shenanigans like that. But overall, I feel like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty good... The fixable mistakes. Yeah, you know, I'm a, I, I feel like I... I you haven't a, done anything regrettable. I, I'm a worthy member of society, I feel. Okay. Fuck. I feel like, you know... Whatever. You're a working alcoholic. I'm not alcoholic. Or a alcohol working man's drunk. No, I'm know. not alcoholic. Because I don't have a dependency. It's not like if That's I don't true. drink today, I, I'm, I start to get the fucking shakes or whatever. I don't drink every day. But when I do drink, I tend not to stop. Stop, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of the problem with me. It's not starting. It's kind of stopping is where the problem comes. I'm also I'm also a lazy drunk, which is if there's no booze in the house, I also you don't, don't go out to buy it. You don't go out to buy them. So, but I have a wife that perhaps likes to see me drunk, so she tends to bring it home. So, hey, whatever. Beggars can be choosers. I'm not. 
I love my mojitos. Okay. Uh, fuck, man. Fuck. And my caipirinhas. Anyways, I love this song. I love Corpa Clanny. They blew me away with this cover. But that's just me talking. What do you th What do you thought about the cover? No, I I love the song. I, I said the the song really got me into. Oh, I'm not even drunk, and I already forgot what you said. So <laughs> exactly. No, the song was really really some good. lingering effects. I, I'm happy that I I was very um happy during the song. Obviously, it gives you just this euphoria. I don't I don't know how to explain it. Just them having fun, looking like they're having a lot of fun. Um, that that accordion always gets me. It's just a fun 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 track. Um, to listen to very very hype, but it, it really does get you very into the song and uh, grabbing people by the arms and drinking together. I, I've seen these guys live twice now in Toronto. Uh, one as a headliner and one as a supporting band to Elviti. Uh, both shows top notch, top notch. Now I hope, I hope, praying to the gods, the new and the old ones. That when they go back on the road, when this pandemic is over, and they go back on the road, and they come to Toronto, to the no, great city of Toronto. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's a quote from the Vikings. Okay. Fuck. Like, you know, I'm 2% Norwegian. Get, get you gotta get your Norwegian Fuck. in there, yeah. Uh, there's not cultural appropriation here. So anyways, uh, when they come back to, to the T-Dot, I hope they play this song as part of their set. Come on, it's a short track. Yeah. It's a super fun track. Throw it into the set. But I do feel like seeing these guys, a perfect setting to see these guys would either be... Uh, I don't think a dive bar, a bar like that, or like out in a field, like a outdoors, like kind a of festival? like kind of like how Dark River was the oh, year we yeah, went. Yeah, that would be perfect. With the actually. grass and like everything, it just not the one like, you smoke, the one you step on. No, yeah, the it just feels natural to be out there in the field. I agree with you. That that's very good points. The first time I saw them was at the Mod Club, which now closed down because of the pandemic. So whoever saw any band playing at the Mod Club, that's it. The Mod Club does not exist anymore. They closed down. And then the, ne the next time I saw them was at the Opera House. The Mod Club was nice. Was they were the headliners. But the Mod Club has a little bit more of a of a fresh feel. Like you know what I mean? Like it's almost like a place that I. W it's almost designed for a metalcore band because it has more of that feel to it. But the Opera House is a little bit more of a rustic look. So I felt like they were better suited the to the Opera, opera House. house. Yeah. But I'm with you. Uh, Having said that, I would fucking see these guys any day, yeah. anywhere. It wouldn't matter. I love this band. I love these dudes. All right. On that note, guys, let us know your thoughts on this cover, Got the Time by Anthrax. That's the original. This one is Corpic Lenny's own take. Let us know your thoughts on that on the comment section, and we'll drink you later. See you guys. See ya.